Hello and welcome fellow subscribers and other racing fans. As you could see, there is a new or there is an intro to my channel now, to my videos. Kindly made by Charge Drives by David. Um, he does wonderful intros if you want to see what he is doing as well. Visit his channel, it's in the video description, it's Charge Drives. Really, I can just recommend you to visit his channel. So, what we are doing in this new format, or in this new series of videos, are uh, more um, a thing about me. It's, um, it's a talk format, I just want to talk in it, um, maybe discuss some news or what uh, I have to say about Project Cars or other sims, so that's what you can expect from it. Well, okay, first of all, I want to thank you all for um, visiting my channel, for subscribing. I got now over 300 subscribers, which is really, really nice. I would have never thought that I was able to do some commentary and so on. Well, at first, some years ago, I was uh, more like, nah, this YouTube thingy, it has no future. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Maybe uh, it was more a, uh, a je jealousy or I don't know the right word on the YouTubers who were successful. But with the release of Project Cars, I decided to do some commentary and it turned out it's actually really fun. I I have really fun doing that. So there, here I am, and there I am, and I'm doing commentary and stuff, or I'm trying to do it. Still learning, still learning. Good. Now that we have discussed that, everything I want to say on the topic, I think. Um. I'm going to start with today's topic, which is the new patch. I know everybody is making a video about the patch, blah, 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 blah. I'm more doing it for myself because uh, I didn't test the changes, except for the race uh, yesterday we had. I will upload it later. I live streamed it. Some of you guys have been in the live stream, which was very nice. So, yeah, things I couldn't test there, I will explain, or I will test myself. So, it's the first time for me, too. I hope everything went, goes well. Good. Patch 3.0, many, many, many changes. I will put the link to the change log in the description below. Consoles will get it soon. PCs already have it, and I, I think I took the most important changes, at least the most interesting changes for me, and I will explain them a little bit further. So the first one is the new multiplayer spectate mode. It's something really needed for league racing for organized leagues and we already we already had it yesterday in use some people who had problems in our Bathurst race they just retired and then they went to spectate so how does it work i will i will show it to you okay conditions we will have some oops wrong key we will have some opponents. Uh, do, 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 grid position. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, okay. Player last. Okay. And we are trying this out. Starting the race. And I will retire as soon as I got on the crit. And then I will show you the spectating mode. 
Loading, 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 loading. It's loading. It's still loading. Okay, there we are. I press escape. Oh, I can't retire. Okay. It's unfortunate. Still not. Still not. Okay, focus on the light. Still not. I wait for the green lights. Oh, I can retire. Um, looking for familiar names. No, I don't know anyone. Uh, if you don't know, all the names of the artificial intelligence drivers are members of WMD, so there could also be my name, Tony. Ooh, it's retired to pit box. Yes, I'm sure. Now I'm on the pit box and I can spectate. Whoa, there we are. Spectating mode. And the AI is crashing already. Ah, noobs. Session laps remaining five. Okay. So what can we do here? Ah, you could show up the Steam profile of the players. The AI doesn't have Steam profiles, obviously. Then this is the camera. Ah, okay. Wow, that's really, really nice. The spectate mode is nice. I like it. When spectating, I like the third person view, if you can call it like that. Because you see uh, what the driver is doing and when someone is trying to overtake, you can also see it. Oh, that's nice. What is this? Okay, that's the standings. Can I also click on the names? Yes, I can. Wonderful. Good. That's that. Yeah. Click on it. Click it away. Wow, the AI is really bad. They're crashing into the walls already. What is this? Ah, this is hiding hiding the thingy. And how can can I bring it back? Oh, I can change the camera position with the assigned key, my keyboard too. Ah, and then I can also see uh, the behind the the rear mirror. Hmm, that's nice. No, that's neat. Two hundred seventy-four. Bad setup. You can be faster here. Yeah? Okay. Bit of a shame that I don't see the mirror on this. Um, trying to control K. Yeah, I can also change the camera with control K. Awesome. Well, this is PC only, of course. But really nice to know. You can change the camera settings here freely. That's nice, that's nice. Okay, now get my... I want to have my controls back with escape. What's this? Oh, telemetry! Oh, really nice. Well... I'm just jumping over it, because that will be our next point, telemetry. Then what we have here, the track. Ah, that's really nice. Really nice addition. Thank you, SMS. Thank you. Okay. Now you have seen the spectator view, and I'm connecting it magically with another new feature. The telemetry info system was reworked. Well, reworked, maybe not too much. But we can see what tires are on the car now. The tire wear. Can you see my mouse cursor? I hope so. You can see the tire wear on the tire. You're a little bit already gone. We can't see the tire temperatures. I guess you can see them as before in your own telemetry when you are live on track. For the AI, I can't see it. But we can still see the temperatures of the brakes. 
Wow, very, very low for this Aston here now. The default setup for the AI, not so nice, I guess. Okay. 2.2 bar in the front, 2.09 bar in the rear. Well, does this change? I I guess it it should change. You know? <laughs> well, I want to see if it changes, so that's uh, what I'm testing next. Okay, tire wear nicely seen. Well, that's that's it for the spectator view, I guess. And partly for the telemetry view. While well, we are watching Kite Man. Good! I am. A, oh, oh! Time progression! Wow! Whee! It's, uh. Oh, when I'm spectating. I can't. Okay, I can only I can only accelerate the time when I'm not spectating. Kai Tim and one. Nice. Good job. Now we are doing a restart. And sorry I have to change my seat position. Get about qualified now. All that matters is the start. Good luck. Green, green, green. Oh. Go, go, go. Actually, wow, there's... This is a new camera setting. I have never seen that before. I mean, this is how I set the camera normally. However, it uses the cockpit view as basis. I see that because the screen gets so dark. I'm not sure what that problem is, um, but it's not not nice. But it, I don't know. It replaced the cockpit view. Oh no no, it's a it's a normal cockpit view. And um, once I did actually um, adjust it. Okay, that's it. Good. As you know, what I usually do: thing control K and setting this manually and so you don't have the dark screen okay now te telemetry 1.99 bar <clears throat> 1.99 bar how comes that in this setup I think I set 1.9 bar Okay, let's just drive some. some laps. Whoops! <laughs> ah, yeah, I see it. 1.98 bar. Strange that it went down. 1.97 bar. Why does this. Why does it go? Ah, okay, of course it goes down because I'm cooling. Whoop! I'm cooling the tires with driving straight. Well, that's interesting. Finally, we can see how much tire pressures. Whoops! How much tire pressure is on the car? I'm just trying to warm up the tires to see if the tire pressures increase. Damaging the car <laughs> while doing that. Well, they are still going down because there is some. There is some. Well, I don't know the word I wanted to say. Okay, now you can see they are going up again. Yeah. 
Verzögerung. Word is Verzögerung in English. I just can't remember the word. You know the time something else changes and the other thing changes afterwards. <laughs> okay, as you can see this is working fine. And it's really interesting. Finally see the tire pressures working. And how they are working. Wow, really interesting. Should use this in the race in the future to see how they are changing over the course of the race. Hoping uh, one day this will get into the Aero 2, uh, RP2 and the uh, API. Good. What is the next thing? Um, we have an enhanced pit strategy system. We will see what we can see here, okay? Going into the pits. So, now. This stayed the same. Going into the pit strategy window. The first thing changed here is this one. We can adjust the fuel refill beneath the actually um, the actually value which is in the tank already however this doesn't don't, don't think that doesn't take out um, fuel out of the tank now it's just <clears throat> it just won't refill yeah it still refills to the point you uh, tell it it's not a refill amount which is not so nice but well, what can you do? Okay. So, this goes red when you have two less refill in the tank uh, for finishing the race, which is nice. I saw that uh, already in, um, in the race yesterday. However, um, also the uh, approximations you can see here they are quite conservative. I needed like 3.4 liters on a lap in Bathurst and it uh, calculated with 3.5 or 3.6 so over many laps that was quite conservative and you put too much fuel in the tank. However, nice feature. Session laps remaining and so on. Change tires. You can now choose if you were change the tires all around or if it's asymmetrically where you can change it different for each tire okay symmetrical best thing to do uh, what I notice symmetrical asymmetrical no well the arrows do the same right and left which is strange Okay, fixed damage, nothing changed here. Well, that, that's it already. Nothing else to show. Still, you have to click on close here. Oh no. Ah, okay, when you, when you go into the uh, pitch strategy window, you don't need to uh, click on close. 1.9 bar. Okay, that will be interesting. I set it to 1.9 bar and change tires. No, did I set it to change tires? Yeah, I did, I did. And they get 1.9 bar. But how cold are they? Uh, okay. So this is... Um, 1.9 bar for 90 degrees but we had 1.99 bar at the beginning strange okay we start okay we started with 90 degrees and 1.9 bar ah and now it's rising well it's 
kind of strange. Ah, oh, okay, yeah, it's uh, the cold pressure we are we are get, getting into the tire, putting into the tire, and now it's rising because the heat of the tire, which is applied afterwards, is increasing the amount of air in the tire. Well, that explains it. I would never have thought that this is working like that, but well, interesting, interesting thing. Okay, good. The next thing of my list is a setup. Okay, we also have a revamped setup. Well, no really, cha no real changes there, but I will show it to you nonetheless. I think it's quite important. You can change the front tire and rear tire compound differently in the setup now. I don't know why they did this. Because it's in, in no real life series you can do this. I, um, I mean, you maybe some amateur some rookie series, I don't know, but professional GT racing, professional formula racing, endurance racing, this, it's not allowed. I don't know. Uh, I think that's, that's your only change here. So, okay, that was it. What's the next change? Um, enhanced. Okay, enhanced cut track detection system. It's far more accurate. I couldn't change that. Uh, I couldn't um, test that before. Let's just take solder. Well, let's go online. <clears throat> Create a session in solder. There it is. Yeah, I want to have day, please. Current, okay. Solder. Oh, mm, 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 mm. I think we will need. Okay, qualifying is here. Five minutes. I can't start the session. Sometimes. Ah, okay, because um, I set it on public. And. Yeah. It has to be private, and I don't know if it does have to have a lobby name, I don't know. Great, start session. So, we're trying to cut the track on solder. It was possible Hardly with. Okay. Now we get two bar in the front. 1.9 in the rear, 1.8 on the front, right? Well, something, something isn't right there. It's really strange. Ah, no, no. Oh, I'm so stupid. I got a different setup here for solar. And yeah, it's actually like that. Okay, because it's asymmetrical. Whoops. Too fast, too fast, too fast. Well, let's see what we can achieve with cutting in the qualifying and in the race. Cutting, cut track warning, keep it between the lines, okay, no 5 second penalty, okay, second warning, um, you always got a 5 second penalty, 
on this uh, chicane when you cut it. So let's see what happened. What is oh no, we are going outside. But well, I don't think there was a cut track anywhere here. And here. Oh, that, that just invalidates that. It's okay. What is here? Only invalidate, okay, but this uh, this can gain you an advantage, I think. Yeah, there's no advantage here. So. Okay, when you're outside the track, you don't get warnings anymore. It's okay because you don't get any advantages of being off track outside. That's that's nice. Nice thing. Whoops. And you get cut track warnings when you are on the inside off track. However, you don't get the warning. Now let's see what a third warning will bring us. Well, this was no warning. Strange. Well, I don't get warnings anymore, it's just invalidating the lap time. Okay. I thought I'm, I, w I would get a disqualifier or something like this. But really nice that you don't get any penalties anymore if you're on the outside. So... Whoa! <laughs> I'm so bad. I'm really bad. Still early in the morning for me when I made this video, so I hope this excuse me. destroyed. Okay, and another cut. Okay. Well, now let's see what happens in the race if you get a disqualifier. qualifying over two warnings and that's it. We <laughs> twelve power. Okay, oops. Outside of the track, no warning. Inside of the track, cut track penalty. Oh, I thought they were gone. Well, that's uh, a bit disappointing, I think. And cut track penalty. I mean, nobody cuts on this place. You can only get there by accident. Hmm. Okay. Not what I expected. 
card trick penalty. Oh, come on, these 10 second penalties, they are so stupid. It's really, really disappointing. I hope for a system like uh, first warning, second warning, and then drive through penalty or something like this, or disqualify or something. Well, <clears throat> that's not what I expected. That's no. Uh, okay. <laughs> At least it's better for the outside of corners. Guess you don't get penalties for that anymore. Okay, what do we have? Replay. Replay system. We have a new replay system. Um, how do I get to my replays? I actually don't know. So, ah, highlights. Okay. Yeah, view. Let's see what the replay gives us. <clears throat> okay, it has similar controls to the spectate mode, which is nice. Yeah, I like it. Ah, this is photo mode. Okay. Um, go away. So, cameras. Ah, all car cameras available. That's nice. Pause. Oh, it still doesn't. Forward, fast forward, it's just jumping forward. Backward, yeah. Okay, nothing really changed here. Guess, yeah, you can change the, the car which you want to spectate in the replay now. There is only one car in this replay. They got another one with several cars, I think. There it is. <coughs> Ah, okay. Well, replays are kind of broken. <coughs> they were before and they still are. However, nice that you can switch the cars now. It's really, really good thing. By the way, this is a um, public multiplayer race. And <laughs> it's, that's not AI. <laughs> People are crashing out on the second lap, crashing each other on the second turn, I mean. <clears throat> okay. It is kind of working, but the replays are a bit broken. Well, okay. That's that. Now we have something else, an enhanced weather system. The rain is better now. The rain is better now, it says. Let's just test the rain. Light rain, rain. Just rain. Just. And I take another car for a change. Um, that one. I've never driven it. Oh, okay. Other changes which I won't explain or can't explain. Players are no longer disqualified for running out of fuel after finishing the race. That is nice. Fix an issue with real-time weather not working. Real-time weather is working now, which is also nice. And the BMW, uh, BMW M3 GT, which is classified as GT. GT2 car. It got 
wider tires in the front. So performance wise it should be better it should perform better, it should compete with the uh, GT3 cars now. Which is also nice because that's a car we regularly regularly drove before it got changed to a GT2 spec and it was really nice to drive and a really nice addition to the GT3 group and now it's just too slow so maybe that brings us brings it back for us good new rain animation okay that's okay rain is pouring down there I have not seen this before. That's quite nice. It's pouring down. Is it also pouring down when I'm driving? No. Now it's going up. Wow, that's nice. And down again. Down. Up. Down. A little bit later on the down. <laughs> However, nice, nice thing. Now let's use the well, headlights. I don't need headlights. I need the wipers. There they are. Oh, there are some animations. Yeah. Okay. They don't look ace. <laughs> but they are okay. Yeah, they 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 are a nice addition. In the race, I can't concentrate on this anyway. And there are more drops coming up. That's nice. I love this soft lock feature. <coughs> oh no, get it. do I get disqualified? Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> <coughs> okay. Well, you have seen the rain. Also a nice feature. Oh, now I can spectate again. Spectate, spectate. What, what, what? Ah, here I am. Well. I guess that's it for now. I got the most important changes or the most interesting changes at least for me. And I guess that's it for this episode of of Torque with Tony if you want to call it like that. And I hope to see you again in the next video. So, see you soon and bye bye!